Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Andrus. Today to honor those who've served our country with a lot of Veterans Day celebrations across Kansas. KSN's Derek Lytle joins us now with how Wichita thanked veterans. Derek? Craig, it was a day filled with saying thank you, not only to active duty members and retired veterans, but also those who have been killed serving our country, paying the ultimate sacrifice, defending our freedom. How many here would agree with me that military members, active and veteran, are the backbone of our nation? I believe we carry that trust and responsibility to our graves. A ceremony to honor veterans was held at Veterans Memorial Park. Kathy Strong made the journey to Wichita from California to honor James Moreland, who was killed in Vietnam in 1968. I decided I wanted to do something further to uh, honor him, so I decided to uh, put a brick in all 50 states for James. Wichita is the 35th state she's honored Moreland. While she's not related to him, she's been sharing his legacy for 38 years, wearing his POWMIA bracelet since she was a child when she got it from her parents for Christmas. So it's a legacy so she's happy to keep alive. We're actually perfect strangers. I've never met him, but I received his POW um, MIA bracelet in my Christmas stocking as a young girl from Santa. Moreland received an honorable burial after his remains were identified in Vietnam following 40 years of uncertainty. He was buried on May 14th, 2011, and that's when I fulfilled my childhood promise, took off my bracelet, and I buried it with him, and I was finally able to say, welcome home, James. Kathy, along with many others, attended Wichita's Veterans Day Parade following the ceremony, one final way to say thank you before leaving town. Kathy tells me she plans to honor Ser Sergeant First Class James Leslie Moreland with the next brick in Arizona in December. Here for you, Derek Weidel, KSN News 3.